And now an update from the strange parallel universe of Governor Ron DeSantis's Florida. It has not yet been a week since a judge dismissed charges in one of the 20 voter fraud cases DeSantis announced with considerable fanfare this summer. But today, another court is slapping down the governor's attempts to hide the details behind another one of his pet projects, migrant flights. A judge ruled that Governor DeSantis violated the state's public records law by withholding information linked to those flights from Texas to Martha's Vineyard in September. Those flights have attracted a lot of attention and record requests and lawsuits, especially about how those flights were coordinated, seeing as the migrants came from an entirely different state, Texas. When the governor turned over some documents last week, we learned that his chief of staff and his public safety czar worked together to plan the September 14th transport of 50 Venezuelan migrants. And now, thanks to the judge's order, we will get to see more phone and text logs from the governor's chief of staff and presumably learn even more. The judge has given Governor DeSantis 20 days to hand those logs over, dismissing arguments from the governor's attorneys that they should be allowed to turn them in on December 1st. According to a previous requ record request, December 1st is also the new proposed date by which the transport of another 100 migrants could take place from Florida to Delaware or Illinois or some other state where Democratic presidents have come from. Apparently, Governor DeSantis wanted to restart these migrant stunts, stunts much sooner on October 3rd. Why the delay? We don't know yet, but stay tuned.